What's up again, everybody? Rover 184, One Japan Continues, and I've arrived in one new prefecture yet again. Things are finishing off here. I'm in Miyazaki, down here in Kyushu. And it's a little bit interesting because the platforms are actually split up there with different station masters taking your tickets as you go inside. But what's not strange at all is that when you come outside, a nice big tourist information center. So let's go see what they have in mind. Thank you very much. <laughs> And it's a very nice looking station out here. It's now time to go follow some advice. And I've arrived here at a corner, not unlike pretty much any other residential corner. There are some bigger buildings down there. But what's more interesting is that right here, you'll notice a big vat of water back there. And this is a foot hot spring that you can use anytime and it's for free. So you basically you just come here, you've got a little bit of nice decorations, but otherwise it's pretty unassuming unless you knew to look for it. Thanks to the friendly staff, you wouldn't find it normally. But the hot water is going to be coming out from under the ground here. I wonder if it's 1700 meters. And you can just go grab a seat and relax. Sort of cool too that you can actually go and buy the hot spring water. That's a pretty common thing. 20 liters for 200 yen here. And the first thing that you'll have to notice when you put your feet inside is that the water is actually not all that hot. It's obviously pooling. The water coming in from the taps over there is hot, but the stuff that's been sitting here for a while is not, so you can mix it up with your feet. And it's always good, the kind of thing, if you've been around and you've been going to hot springs as I've gone to a couple over the course of the trip, to hang on to their towels there for just this kind of eventuality because there's a surprising number of these kind of hot springs around, wherever you are. <laughs> There's lots of friendly people walking their dogs around here that always come to say hello. However, it does feel strange to have your feet in a bath next to a parking lot. But if it's not hot enough for you, you can always come and put your feet right by the source and you'll notice that I'm turning red like a lobster. And it reminds me of a time I was traveling and I saw these hot springs and they were just basically bowls for you to put your feet in. But in the end there were these two happy old men and apparently the water was something ridiculous like 55 or 60 degrees. And that's the kind of thing where you would burn yourself so horribly. Uh, here, when you're going around, you'll always find it's between 39, sometimes 41, 42. And different places get known for different things, either the minerals that are in the water, you know, the feeling that you get from it, or it'll be like the temperature. But this place, what they did is they had a series of like 10 different foot baths in a row, so that each one was increased by, let's say, 2 centigrade or something like that. So the whole idea was is that you'd start at 40, which you can do as long as you don't get some red, well you'll get red feet and then you'd step up to 42 and then 44 and eventually you could work your way all the way up although you have to wonder if you're not going to turn into some sort of food on somebody's plate at the end of the whole thing but ultimately after some hard work and by hard work i mean sitting on a train for three hours to get here it actually feels pretty nice so if you're traveling here, there's lots of choices for onsens, including some of them that have a nice Rotembro, an outdoor spa, outside facing the ocean. Just again, you've always got to be careful of the time that they open for the day visitors. Anyway, everybody, it was fun to have a little foot soak here. Let's go see what kind of food is on offer here in Miyazaki. Thanks for watching, everybody. See ya.